Tehran is in South Africa to enforce the memorandum of understanding between the two countries. Pomp and ceremony, paving the way for South Africa and Iran's first cooperation on defense. Part of the Memorandum of Understanding will entail research and sale of defense equipment. Iran and South Africa are amongst the many countries, member states of the United Nations, who are calling for the reform of the United Nations. The reform of the United Nations Security Council, to be precise. Last year, the world body's five permanent members, plus Germany, agreed to lift financial sanctions against Iran in exchange for restrictions on the country's nuclear program. U.S. President-elect Donald Trump has threatened to reverse the deal, which has labeled disastrous and catastrophic. If any person, including the U.S. president, ignorantly wants to take any action against the joint cooperation, for sure, the powerful and independent country of Iran will have an appropriate response to the action which will be firm. Moments later, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani announced that Iran would start planning the development of nuclear-powered ships. This is the outcome of the forces which are located inside the U.S. and some specific countries who are our enemies. Israel support Trump's threat to reverse the original agreement. France and China are optimistic that it will be honored by the new U.S. government. All eyes will be on Trump post the 20th of January after his inauguration, but more specifically with regards to his international policy on the Iran nuclear deal and what he will do after the meeting with Benjamin Netanyahu. Aldrin Simpia, SABC News, Pretoria.